What is up? I'm Moana Turtle. So today we have a Pokemon opening. We are opening up the new Blastoise GX Premium Collection Box. Um, I think this thing is pretty loaded. It's very similar to the um, Charizard Cl Premium Collection Box. that featured the full art Charizard from Burning Shadows. So this one features the Blastoise GX and it has a pretty good pack selection. Two Unbroken Bonds, two Celestial Storms, and then a Sunny Moon Base, I think, followed by a Fates Collide. Not too great, or actually, I have mixed feelings about X, XY packs. And um, yeah, we'll go into the different, uh, how good of a product this is. But I do want to give a quick uh, reminder in case people are not familiar with, there is a pack battle tournament going on right now um, that is kind of hosted by Mama Kang's Khan and Shiny Alkazam. Big shout outs to them. Uh, last weekend, we did face off with Pokemon Wonder Woman. We were lucky enough to move on to round two where we are going to face the Bearded Trainer. Uh, there'll be a link in the description down below for the playlist of all the battles. Uh, so definitely go check that out and um yeah appreciate it if you uh be sure to look out for those videos come this saturday from myself and po the bearded trainer and uh, again big shout out to mount kang's Khan and shiny alkazam for uh setting everything up so let's get into this product and uh for a quick very fake magic trick we found a way to quickly open up the box you don't have to watch me fumble around we're just gonna hit to give a couple taps and boom we already have our Damn, it's all opened up. So, quick rundown. Yep, for the packs. Uh, Fates Collide, Sun Moon Base, Two Celestial Storms. Well, that's new enough. Uh, I think, I believe it's going to survive rotation. And then Two Unbroken Bonds. Nice to see the new sets. And here we have the promos. I do like how they get the Squirtle and the War Turtle foils. Uh, I'm really excited about this premium collection box. This is the OG Turtles. And I really love the War Turtle. That art is really cool. For the coin, not bad. And I really do like this pin. My, the only thing I will say is it feels kind of lighter than some of the other ones. Uh, less of this, I don't know, metallic material. Uh, but, alright, let's get into the packs. Let's see, we'll start with Fates Collide and work our way in chronological order. And let's do it. As always, if you do enjoy the content, be sure to hit that like button on the way out. It does help the channel grow and reach new viewers. And if you're not already a sub to the channel, definitely hit that sub button as well. Here we go. We have a Kangaskhan for our first pack. Shout out to Mom Kangaskhan again. And we have a Cincino. Did I pronounce that? Team Rocket's Handiwork. A Snubble. Fennekin. Jigglypuff. A Snivy. Deerling, that Pokemon is so cute. A Wizmer for the reverse. And then a Mandibuzz for a regular rare. Alright, moving on. We have a Sun and Moon base. To be honest, I'm not sure what we're looking for here. <laughs> if we pull something good, it'll be... Sun and Moon base is old enough that I'm not familiar with all the cards, so a lot of the stuff is new to me. We're going to start off with a Metal Energy, a Alolan Raticate, Dartrix, Great Ball, Alolan Grimer, a Formantis, Cosmog, a Ruggerola, Sandy Gas, a Potion Reverse, that's a pretty classic card, and then Incineroar. He looks like he's ready to rumble. Alright, so nothing so far. Hopefully we don't get shut out in this booster box or collection box. I do think this one is a pretty good product so far. Um, although, the polls will probably dictate it more than anything else. As far as whether or not this is kind of like worth the price, I think if you can find a good sale, um, I think it's worth it if there's any kind of promotion. Um, for the, the raw value, I think if you pay full MSRP, which I'm guessing is like 40 or something, uh, I don't think it's quite worth that much. Alright, for the Celestial, or Celestial Storm, is it Celestial Storm? <laughs> Alright, we have a Meditite, a Chincho, Gulpin, a Dunsparce, and then a Salamence Foil. Okay, so we did get a Foil. Not a biggest fan of Salamence. And okay, I misspoke. The next pack is a Lost Thunder, not another Celestial Storm. I am a big fan of Lost Thunder. There's a lot of good cards in here. Alright, 
let's see what we got. Still looking for our first hit. Alright, we have another Metal Energy. Wait and see, Hammer. Fairy Charm. A Sukun. Pop Leo, big fan of him. Spinarak. Ninkata. Eevee. A Hopip. Larvitar is our reverse. Very cute. And then, ooh, okay, so we did not we did not get shut out. We have a Genesect GX. I think I have like <laughs> seven of these. <laughs> when I did a bunch of Lost Thunder openings, I felt like I kept pulling Genesects. I think at one point I pulled two Genesects in a single uh, booster box. It was, to be honest, I was getting a little frustrating <laughs> to keep pulling the same card. All right, on to Unbroken Bonds. This is definitely the one where we want to get the big hits. I feel like that pack opened a little funny. Not that I'm concerned about things being tampered with. Alright, let's see. We have a fire energy to start. Electromagnetic radar. A Cleffa. Giovanni's Exile. A Litten. Krabby. Tangela. Oddish. A Whooper. Fairy Charm. And then, ooh, Mewtwo. I'm surprised this guy's not more uh more used in today's meta with the mind report i feel like it's a pretty good ability it's kind of like a tapu lele and rescue stretcher combined hybrid of those two all right on to our last pack for the box Let's see if we can't get some last pack magic here we go we have a metal energy a Dodrio, Raticate, Weepin' Bell, Oddish, Mistrevious, Salandit, Glammeow, Diglett, a Venonet is our reverse, and for our last pack we have a Butterfree Regular Rare. Alright, so we didn't get shut out, we did get the Genesect GX from the Lost Thunder pack, and however we do come away with this full art Blastoise. I do feel like when uh, whatever remix bout the Jap new Japanese set when when the Blastoise uh, tag team comes out, I do feel like there's a lot of synergy to be had with this card. So uh, while I feel like this card's not that great yet, I think there's a lot of potential in the near future. Uh, so that's it for the box. Um, this box itself was just okay, and I feel like for a product, it's pretty good. Um, however, I wouldn't really recommend it unless there's some kind of sale or promotion going on. And uh, again, once again, a quick reminder that this um, this weekend will be battling uh, the Bearded Trainer in the uh, Battle of Sexes hosted by Mount Kang's Khan and Shiny Alakazam. Uh, link in description for more information about that packed battle tournament. I definitely recommend you go check it out. Uh, but that's all we have for today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.